today's segment um is going to be about the friend zone why you're there how to get out of it and the guy that's in the friend zone his job now let's get right to it this video is not gonna be long while you're in the friend zone with a woman uh from my experience uh i've i've uh been in the friend zone because uh it's like a test a lot of the times. You fucking a woman, the, the the experience is probably good, the sex is probably good for her. Then she um uh a guy another her ex boyfriend or some might pop it back in the picture or somebody that she sees that might have higher value, uh higher value than you might uh pop you know, pop in or start talking to her. So you know what she would do? She would say, Hey, let's just you know and but she's she's not really too sure about the new guy or her ex boyfriend, so she says, You know what, let's just be friends. And you know what your goofy ass do? You know what my goofy ass did? I agree with. I say, you know what? All right, you know she needs space, so let's just be friends. Another thing is space. Uh, these she, a woman will do this to sideline you and uh, put you on a bench for a little bit while she goes out and uh, fucks around or tests out the new guy that she that she just uh, encountered or met or the ex boyfriend that that's came back in the picture, and uh, she would she will sideline you, thinking she needs some space or some time to clear her head but all the while she's fucking with somebody else and uh you know testing them out testing uh the new prospect or prospects out and uh if they don't mount up to what uh to your expectation to your you know things that you've done already and the, the quality of uh of the man you are she will uh get rid of them and come back to you act like never nothing ever happened like like uh, she just needs some time to clear her head. When she come back to you, she will pull you off the bench, and you will be back at the uh, you know back on the, the 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 starting lineup. You know you'll be back to number one. But that that, that doesn't happen too too often. Uh, another reason why you might be put in a friend zone is because a trick a woman was really attracted to you, but you just really never made a move. You was scared. You was timid. Uh, you didn't you didn't give her a kiss, make out with her. You didn't uh you know grab her ass say let's let's just fuck let's do this shit you scared and timid you want to wait two three four five six dates and shit so she uh she friends on you women can get dick like that so when they want dick and you don't as a man don't give it to them uh you know when she's showing signs of how horny she is she gonna get rid of your ass for the next guy simple as that because so, you, you're not showing alpha male qualities uh you know women want to be dominated so if you on some on this passive ass shit uh, she's just gonna she gonna discard your ass and go get another dick. Simple, it's just that simple. Women can walk down the street and just and get dick. They, they don't gotta say nothing. Uh, an, another reason, uh, you know what? Let's let's talk about. I want to dive into uh, how to get out of the friend zone. Cause uh, the the friend speech has been uh, uh, let's be friend speech has been proposed to me, and uh, one time I did not take it. I was like, you know what? Uh, I told her, hey, I enjoyed our, our romantic relationship that we had, but I'm uh, I'm not really looking for friends. Uh, you take care, you know, uh, take it easy. She, something tripped in her mind because she was really attractive chick, ass, titties, face, and all that. So some tripped in her mind and said, hey, what the hell, you know, happened? So she left my home uh, after dropping my key off and everything like that. This was uh, about a year, a year or so ago. Dropped my key off. And uh, she left about five minutes later. She called me. She said, so you just don't want to be friends. And I said, you know, I, I just I, I enjoyed our romantic relationship. I just, you know, I think uh, I don't want to be friends. But if you change your mind, you call me. Right. She went a full day, called me the next morning because I work third shift. She got I get off at six, six a.m. She called me and said, so you, you sure you don't want to be friends? Why can't you? Why can't you be? Why can't we be friends? I thought you cared about me. You know, I thought you wanted to be with me. I thought you cared about me. Let's just be friends. So I said, no, you know, I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine with that. I, I enjoyed our romantic relationship. I kept saying the same thing so so she can get it, it drilled in her head that I wasn't uh, that I wasn't planning. I stood by my uh, my word. If you're a man of your word, you stand by it. It's that simple. So she called me about on her lunch break that day. And said, "Okay, all right. Let's just let's just uh, take things slow a little bit and get to you know get to know each other and yada yada yada." I said, uh, "Look, I you know I, I stood by my word." She tried to switch it up. She says, "So you don't care about me, so you don't want to be friends." So I said, "Look, I stood by my word again." And she said, "Okay." So she got upset and just hung up in my face. I said, "Okay, cool. I'm gonna keep my dignity as a man. Cool. I'm gonna keep my dignity." 
So uh, later that night, she called me. She said, uh, "Hey, uh, what are you up to tonight? Uh, you wanna, you want, you know, can I come over and hang out?" So you know what that meant. She and then I got the pussy too when she came over and hang out. So I was still fucking. So you know what that meant. If you stand by your word as a man, don't fold. Women, women will, you know, women will submit to you. It's that simple, guys. It's really that simple, gentlemen. Stand by your word. That's how you get out of the friend zone. You reject the friend's speech. You say, I don't want to be friends. You know, I enjoyed our romantic relationship when we had sex, we was having fun and this, this, and that. But I'm not, I don't want to be friends. Uh, good luck and take care. Either she going to come to her motherfucking senses or she just going to just disappear, which is cool anyway. Because being, being, in a, being, in, being a female friend, who wants to be an attractive, uh, be a friend, a female's uh, attractive male friend? That's one of the... The lowest things you can do as a man. Seriously. Uh, now, let's get to the guy that's actually in the friend zone. What the things, the type of shit he does. He uh, he can be waiting for five, six, seven months, years. Waiting to get his opportunity. You know, to, 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 get, to get his opportunity with this chick. She could be running through guys, dating, relationships. He's uh, his, she, he, he is uh, her male... Uh, tampon, male boyfriend, she, he listens to all her bullshit, all her complaints, and tries to comfort her. He try, he might try to make a move, and she still reject him. Uh, even when she's drunk, he might try to make a move, He still and he still would get rejected. He would sit in a friend zone for years in hopes that he'll get his opportunity. And she might, and that's like a small percentage, maybe like a 2% chance, she might give him an opportunity. She might. And one thing about guys that's in a friend zone with her, each new guy she meets or dates, he going to try to sabotage that shit. He going to say a lot of shit about, you know, oh, he ain't this, he ain't that. Oh, I seen him at this party. I seen him talking to this girl, you know, and everything like that. He going to be her male FBI agent. Seriously. That's what he going to be. He going to try to sabotage shit so he can get in good with her. But the more he sabotages shit where, uh, the new guys, it doesn't matter. He's still not going to get the pussy. It's a rare chance that a guy in the friend zone will get the pussy. And that's when she has to be depressed as hell. And and she has to be very depressed and, and miserable. So that's the guy. So I talked about how you got in the friend zone, how to get out of the friend zone, and also uh, the guy that's in the friend zone, his job. 